Among the various options for graphics that you can add to a button design are, of course, photos and shapes. In addition, though, you can actually draw freehand directly on your button design. To get started, I'll go to the Shapes section on the toolbar over on the left side of Build a Button, and there, in addition to the various geometric shapes, you'll find the Draw Freehand button. So I can click on that Draw Freehand button and then adjust the color and the thickness for my drawing. I'll go ahead and click the color swatch to bring up the color picker. And in this case, I would actually like to effectively erase the moon from this photo so that I have the cloud in the sky but without the moon. And so I want to sample a color from the sky. And so within the color picker, I'll click the eyedropper button. That will bring me into the option to use the actual button design to sample a color. So I'll select by clicking in an area of sky and then click the Apply button to apply that color. I can adjust the thickness of my drawing as needed, and then I'll click the Start button to begin drawing freehand within the button design. So again, in this case, I'll just paint over that moon with the color that I sampled from the sky, effectively blocking that moon from view. Once you're finished drawing, you can click the Done button, and then you'll be able to adjust the overall settings for that drawing layer. So we could adjust the border width. If I wanted to make the lines I drew thicker or thinner, I could reduce the opacity if I wanted to, in this case, for example, allow the moon to show through just a little bit. And I could also zoom or resize. In this case, of course, I drew at a specific size, so I don't want to adjust that size or position. But the bottom line is that in situations where you want to do some freehand drawing on your button design, you can use the Draw Freehand button in Build-A-Button.